Welcome to the Words to Empower podcast, featuring Bishop Frank Stewart, pastor of the Acts Ministry in Conway and North Little Rock. And Amen. now, Pastor Stewart. He's not pretending. It looks right because, because truth is measured by perception. What I perceive to be right is right to me. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 2. This kind of pulls it all together. Every man, every way of a man is right in his own eyes. But the Lord weighs every way, every thought we have, we think we are right. Look at somebody and say, you think you're always right, don't you? See, some of y'all didn't say nothing to anybody because see, it, it, this message is rubbing you the right way. Oh, I'm going to get all up in our business today. Because we got to kill a divorce demon. We got to kill a runaway demon in our homes with children. Every man way seems to be right. If we don't get taught, we, we, we grow up believing this. Because that's how we've been created. And when you have not been poured into another glass you can get accustomed to thinking this is the only glass and this is the only way to think now let me tell you how arrogant that is truth is measured by perception but the only person perception is 100% is God when we see anything we see it in a small dimension we see it through our own eyes, through our own experiences, through how we was raised, through what we believe. Have you ever gone into a neighborhood and said, that shit was an ugly house? What qualifies you to tell a person that is a millionaire that have accomplished more in the financial arena and have been schooled in taste to say they have bad taste. But we do it. It's second nature. Because we haven't been exposed to other dimensions, other thinking. It is especially bad with, with teens and preteens. And we've all experienced that, right? When we were teens and preteens, then we think we was always right. Come on, come on, come on, tell me. Huh? Come on, Deacon Dave, come on. When we, was, when we was young, we thought mama and them was old foggy and we was right. Because we hadn't been poured. We hadn't been poured into another vessel, but as this vessel get older, see, we can't wait to get older before we change our thinking. Every man, every, every, every man, every man weighs right in his own eyes. That's why I believe it, because I think I'm right. That's all right. But the problem with that, in an environment where the climate is changing, you will kill everything that disagrees with you. As if God only gave it to you. Especially important for leaders to understand this. That most time change doesn't come from within, it comes from without. But if we see everything through our own way of thinking, then every bright idea, every new idea, we will kill it. Let me tell you, because you can explain it better, because you can overtalk people because you're more dramatic in what you're saying doesn't mean that you're right. But to be poured from one vessel to another vessel is to be able to take time to consider. Listen. When you mean listening, that doesn't mean that I'm waiting for you to stop talking so I can, I can really correct you. Show you what's real right. 
So while you talking, I'm not listening. I'm just thinking. My head is moving. I'm looking down. I'm looking off, you know. And inside, there's a, there's a hurricane going on because I want you to get through so I can tell you my way of thinking. And it's destroying our homes, our marriages, and our children. The climate is changing, so the environment has to adjust to it. Because whenever the climate changes, some things flourish and some things die. If we went to it, if this climate would start changing, to the climate of Florida, then, then we will see banana trees and oranges start really growing and thriving and there will be other things here that would start to die. So when the climate change, we have to change. It's no need in the world to have a church that, that I, see, I see about a thousand people during a month's time and there's no need to have Two churches like that and, and have, 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 have that membership and people like that and we got a few people doing everything. Because anytime you have your hand in everything and doing everything, stuff get cloudy. And we get introduced to you and your way of thinking. But sometimes your way of thinking. What happens in the divorce is that there's a clash of thinking way we think. That's what it is. Now that happens way before we get to the courthouse. That happens while the children are growing up. That happens early. And it's never resolved. Because we're not willing to be poor. From one vessel to another vessel. We say it like this. We, we, we say, don't judge any man unless you've walked a mile in their shoes. Have you ever seen something that didn't look uh, delicious, but it was? Have you ever seen something that looked delicious? And it wasn't? You would have never known that if you hadn't tasted it. Y'all ready? We're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. On how to change the climate to make people flourish in this environment. From our children to our teens to our preteens where everybody feel like they have a part. The one reason why there's not been many men in, in, in our churches in this country because the environment was not conducive for a man to grow. Uh, I, I, I know you ain't no good and I know you ain't won't work and I know all of that and he's tired on Sunday and I know all that what, what we say but have we looked at the other side of it? How do you operate an environment dominated by females when God made you the head? I ain't getting nothing on that. That's all right. I'm just pouring you from one vessel to another. I can't change what God has done. All right. So we have to examine the climate. Look at somebody and say, let's examine this climate we're in. Now, there was a time when I grew up, we didn't have any educators in the church. Was that the educator's problem? Was it their fault? Not their fault. It was a climate we was in. If you was educated, we talked about you. With your education. <laughs> we belittled you. We embarrassed you. So we made the climate not conducive for you to grow because you had a college degree. Brothers and sisters, we have to be careful now that now things that are reverse where we are a church that many have PhDs and, and masters and we have teachers and 30, 40 teachers and principals and assistant principals and we have doctors and lawyers. We have to make sure 
that we don't make the climate at a point where those that do not have what we have die. It, it, it's amazing that we cannot relate to people that are going through what we're what we what we've gone through. The way we have, way we were treated, if we're not careful, we will treat them. So the climate has changed. Look at somebody say, we're in the midst of a climate change. And when the climate changed, our changing, there are some things you have to do. You have to do some stuff. You have to pull off some stuff sometime. But sometimes you have to know how much to pull off. You, you, you knew I wasn't going to let you get off that easy thing. You, 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 knew I, you knew I had to balance that right with, with the climate changing in summer. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is my job to let you know how much to take off. Because there are some people that say, take it all off, take it off. Look at somebody and say, don't, 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 don't take it all off, don't, don't. Okay, okay. Don't take it all off. And don't put too much on. Can we get balance? See, the climate is changing. On Sunday morning, I was supposed to be hooping and the organ supposed to be playing. And we supposed to be working up a sweat, jumping around, and then leave out of here and then get, then get divorced and be in poverty and all messed up and think we got it all together. The one thing that we have to understand, there's sometimes we're wrong. Sometimes we're wrong. And we have to say, you know, I, I, look, look somebody say, you know what? I could be wrong. That, that, that helps, especially when you don't know, when you want to be so dogmatic and so, you know, emphatic that this is it. And then you realize it wasn't it because you really didn't know. You were just trying to cover up your insecurities because how they made you feel growing up as a child. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501 501- 302-4242. The Axe Church in North Little Rock is located at 1224 Franklin Street. For more information, go to axeministriesonline.org or give us a call at 501-329-2055. Thank you for tuning in to the Axe Ministry Podcast. The Axe Church is located at 1423 Indian Street in Conway and 1224 Franklin Street in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Tune in each day to hear an inspiring word from Pastor Frank Stewart. We want to welcome everyone back to Acts Ministries. We will be re-entering our sanctuary at both locations, both in Conway and in North Little Rock. In Conway, our service will begin at 12 noon. We want you to know that the doors will open 30 minutes before each service, but we're asking you to be there prior to then so that you can go through the drive-through with the health professionals so that they can take everyone's temperature in the car to clear you to come into the building for service. We want you to know that Acts Ministries, above all, first and foremost, we want your safety and health to be our utmost and top priority. So we're taking precautionary measures to make sure that we do everything within our power to make sure you are safe. So we want you to know that coming back to Acts Ministries, coming back to the house of God will be a safe and not only safe, but a friendly environment for everyone. So when you come back to the house of God, please don't forget your mask. You can smile behind the mask and wave and say hello. We have a a no 4-H-K-T in process. What is a 4-H? 
H-K-T. What is a no for H-K-T? That means no hugs, no high fives, no hand holding and no handshakes, no kisses and no touching. So we want to social distance ourselves six feet apart from as many people as possible. We have put decals on the phone, on the floor to help you to social distance from other people. We have signage up to help you to remind you about your mask and to remind you about social distancing. We have proper protocol for hand washing placed in the restrooms along with some other measures that we've taken. And so if you have questions, comments, or concerns, you can always send those to wtebroadcast at gmail.com. And we are keeping many on the prayer list. Those of you who have pre-existing conditions, those of you who, who may not meet the criteria and you've taken the Acts Reentry Attendance Self uh, Assessment form, you've taken that and you realize that you can't come back, but you've already signed up to come back, please call the office and let them know that you have signed up, but you won't be able to come so that they can feel your seat since you will no longer be able to come. So we want you to know, um, even though if you're not able to come back in our phase one, you will probably be able to come back in phase two. So don't lose heart. We are live streaming. You will be able to see everything on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Axe TV. Just know that we will still be streaming. We'll still be reaching out to the masses, to the multitudes. And until that time, we look forward to seeing you back in the house of God. Welcome back, Axe.